Welcome to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Night, the podcast of the early life of yours truly. And now, narrating the story, Jimmy. 2 a.m., July 3rd, 1994. All the news shows have documentaries on TV. So Jim is getting restless. He lights a cigarette and sits in the living room for a little while. And asks CJ, one of the night servants, to make him a pot of black coffee. Two p.m. Jr. wakes up and finds his father downstairs in the mansion den, restless. So, Daddy, you want to go fishing around 3 this morning? Well, that sounds like an excellent idea, Jim said. Blake Carter walks downstairs, too. Yeah, what do you say the three of us have a nice uh, boat, boat ride and go fishing? Regardless of whether Cousin Joe's up at all, Jim said. 3.10 p.m. The rented pontoon beam launched. Jim climbs on from, from the dock, and the three go fishing, with, ba- with Blake Carter baiting the hook for J.R. 5.10 p.m. Jim, had a, Jim and Blake had a stroke of luck, catching two bass and three catfish. J.R. so far had caught nothing. 6.35 p.m. Back at the mansion, the staff is making cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Jim is telling the rest of the family how proud he is for the three catfish that J.R. had caught. 9.30 a.m. Jim and most of the family are at Grace Baptist Church listening to Pastor John Doolittle deliver a message about how Christ brings people liberty and how America is a Christian nation with freedom of religion. One PM the family is back at Mary Jane, talking about the day's activities. The staff is preparing some of the fish that to fry that the men had caught earlier this morning. 3 p.m. Mar- Marlene Diedrich shows up. Mar- Marlena Diedrich. Shows up at the Mary Jane estate. Hello, everybody, Jim t- said to the rest of the family. I want you to meet a good friend of mine and her husband, Marlena Diedrich. They go around shaking hands with uh, husband and wife as they get ready to enjoy time together in the mansion. Six PM in the in the Mary Jane courtyard, the family is the the Hendrick party is eating between a choice of cheeseburgers and the fried fish that were caught earlier that day. Everybody seemed to be having a good time. 6.30 p.m. Betsy finds Jr. back in the main living room, cooling off from the heat and drinking a Dr. Pepper. Now, son, you go back with your father for your internship on Tuesday, Betsy said. Mama, Jared said softly. 
You don't have to listen to your father all the time, Bessie said. And you don't have to date that date that awful Holly Hawthorne. You can see Miss Walker or even wait for your your girlfriend back at Texas Tech. But you don't have to listen to your father all the time. Please hear my advice, Betsy said. 9 p.m. Gerard gets ready to lie down to, to go to bed. Tomorrow morning, the family would be getting together again for another boat ride around the Mississippi River. This was to be a fun time for all. Tomorrow would be the last, uh, J.R. and Jim's last full day in Baton Rouge. Hope you are listening to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Night. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the adventure. It's J.R. Hendrick saying until next time, get ready for the rest of the story.